There's some beautiful fresh snow. I thought it'd be a good day to go on a snowshoe hike in the woods and uh, see if I can start labeling with some ribbon that I have the, the sugar maple trees. Molly, come here. How's it going guys? Chad here. Another beautiful day here on the farm. Thanks for tuning in to my channel and thanks for tuning in to this episode of Chronicles of a Farm Stay Startup here at the Hidden Spring Farm. I'm in my workshop right now. I'm trying to get it nice and toasty. That's my heater and I'm trying to get it toasty because later I want to continue working on my barn cap barn, my little reclaimed wood project for the kitty. Stormy's in here with me. I thought I'd bring her out to the farm again today. Hold on. Here's Stormy. Stormy, say hi. Hey, say hi. Stop chewing on my coat. Oh, oh, see that folks? She smacked me in my face. Whew, she's got sharp claws. This is Stormy. She's doing really good. She's fully recovered from her from her infections and she's doing really good she's growing super fast look at her oh my god what a cute kitty what a cute kitty and i'm allergic to cats too but she's just so adorable she's going to be an amazing amazing employee for us here on the farm catching mice hopefully she'll get that that rat for me out of my barn oh that rat anyways let me put her down <laughs> i'm gonna get out into our ducky bunky and check for eggs then we're gonna run over quick and check for chicken eggs and we'll see if we can break any records today on the number of eggs see this guys see this this is like uh, a ribbon and I'm gonna tie this around the sugar maple trees so that maybe I'm hoping next winter I'll be able to start producing our own maple syrup but we'll see it's a busy year here on the farm, so we'll see what I'm able to get done. But it's kind of nice to go on a, a hike in the woods anyways. Get my snowshoes on, get Molly with me, and see what kind of mischief we can get up to up in the woods. Our experience on this farm so far is amazing! 
it's just amazing and it's amazing feeling to go out every single morning and collect those eggs oh man i love it i'm so excited every day to go and collect those eggs hope you enjoy the episode yeah oh, stormy's stormy's climbing up right here she's such a cutie pie hope you enjoy the episode folks <laughs> hope you enjoy the episode remember to click that subscribe button remember to click that subscribe like it share it really need help to grow our channel YouTube's not easy it's a lot of work but it's not easy to get to get uh, you know to get that groove going anyways thanks for watching and uh, enjoy the episode <laughs> look at this cat look at her she just loves it up there she's so playful I love her I love her to death I'm not even a cat person and I love her who couldn't love this kitty look at this thing ow 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 Ooh, gotta go guys Molly what are you doing what are you doing You having fun in the snow? Ah, Molly, you having fun in the snow? Molly, come. Let's go check the duck eggs. Oh man, it's so awesome checking all these eggs every morning. Such an amazing feeling. I see there's an egg right down, right there, right on the ground. <laughs> Just sitting there by the water. See the egg? That's it for the duck eggs today, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six eggs. Yeah! Six eggs. Oh, yeah! Tiny little egg. Look how small it is. This must be from one of the black leghorns because it's white. One of those naughty Rhode Island red roosters just bit me. Look at that little red mark there. It just bit me, the little bugger. Two more chicken eggs, guys. One is white, one is brown. That's, that's only three chicken eggs today.
these roosters are getting kind of rowdy. One bit me today, and they're always biting each other right now. I've never seen that. I think maybe they're getting mature and they're probably fighting for who's the king of the castle over here. These chickens are so cool though, but I might have to separate some of the roosters. Whoa, <laughs> all you hear is all these screamings. <laughs> it's so funny. They're not really hurting themselves though, folks. There's no blood, there's no gore, there's no guts. It's just little squabbles, you know. I'll, I keep an eye on them all the time, so if they start to be really naughty where it's causing damage, then of course I'm gonna do something about it. But for now, it just makes for a good show. They're really growing nicely though. I'm so proud of my chickens. Look at the roof here guys. Look what's happening to the snow. So cool. So cool what nature can do for us. Look at that. It's like our own cool little ice sculptures. I'm gonna give some Stormy some time outside. Molly and I just about to go on a hike up in the woods, see if we can mark some of our sugar maple trees. I just wanted to show you what I got for my snowshoes. It's this mountain pass by this uh, Yanez, or Yanes, however you want to pronounce it. It's a 31 inch, it's really good quality. It's got really good spikes on the bottom and uh, should help me with all my heavy weight not to sink into the snow so I don't have to do those high knee bends as I'm walking through the snow. So uh, just give me a minute, I'll get set up and we'll be on our way. Man, even with the snowshoes, it is 
tiring, but it's actually good exercise for me. It's good exercise for Molly too, because it's deep. And I mean, you get to see this beautiful scenery, all this freshly fallen snow. It's just absolutely beautiful around here. I love it. Okay, let's keep going. <music> This one here guys, Shashuga Maple. I know because it has the dark brown bark, semi-smooth, with a little bit of white markings on it. And I'm pretty sure that's a sugar maple, that's a sugar maple, that's a sugar maple. So time to get ribboning. bunch of sugar maple trees I got marked already. It's a hard job walking through the jungle in the deep snow. You know, even though I got uh, snowshoes, eh, still a little bit of a workout. It's not like it's just, you know, smooth, smooth walking. Oh, I think that's a sugar maple. Sugar maple, sugar maple, sugar maple, sugar maple. Marking.
Anyways, I got a whole bunch of ribbons done. And uh, I don't know, I got this whole area done. I've been out here for about an hour and 20 minutes. My, uh, my cheeks and my nose are getting kind of cold. And Molly has been whining a little bit. So I'm gonna head back. I wanna make sure I have enough time to work on my barn cat barn. And Stormy's nice and warm in my workshop, I'm sure. She's probably looking for some lunch. It's getting close to lunchtime, but she's a good kitty. Anyways, we're gonna hike back, Molly and I, and uh, get some lunch, get these guys fed a little bit. Molly's probably thirsty. Oh, let's go, kid. Let's go. Let's go. What are you standing there for? How am I supposed to get back? Seems like she doesn't want to go now. Let's go. It's a little bit downhill here. I'm going to step on you. Snowshoeing in the woods is not that easy when you're with a puppy who wants to be by your side every second because while I'm walking she keeps stepping on the back of my snowshoes so I've already fallen a few times because you know you're, you're trying to walk and then something's stepping on the back it's like what the heck Whoa! I just almost wiped out because it's like downhill here you guys for sure can't tell it's downhill but keep in mind guys I don't even have trails built yet through these woods. I'm just walking like nomadically. So deep she's running around like mad dog molly she's so awesome that puppy okay guys i'm gonna start working on my barn cat barn again haven't worked on it in a few days i'm just gonna summarize for you quickly where i've left off i've built the base i've put insulation in the floor it's got a nice plywood floor i got walls side walls then I got big insulation there and then I'm just in the midst of putting this extra wood on the inside so it's going to be really nice and cozy in there. Stormy's already loving it. Look, she's playing.
Thanks for hanging out with Stormy and Molly and I, guys. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button and that little bell notification symbol. That way you get all the updates and the notifications as soon as, boom, we upload a video. Got a lot of work done on my little, my little barn cat barn for Stormy once she transitions to the barn, so that's really good. So I just want to say thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode. And uh, take care.